Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to look at the Optum 400 juices and all the pieces that it comes with. This is the motor unit, the Optum 400 base. This is the Optum 400 juicing bowl and when you're assembling the juicer you would then put in place next the spinning basket. What I really wanted to get into today though is to actually explain the differences between all of these strainers and also explain the tofu box. So you get three different strainers with your Optimum 400 juicer. The first one is a blank plate, it's often called a homogenizing plate and you can see videos on this YouTube channel of us making almond butter, baby food, sorbet and banana ice cream using this plate. So it's got some great features to it. The next plate you'll see is the same yellow Altum material and this yellow one has a fine strainer. So this is good for juices with very little pulp um, and hard ingredients, that kind of thing. This one, the white one, is a nylon and it's got a large hole in it, um, a coarse strainer. This coarse strainer is designed for softer fruits and things if you'd like a little bit of extra pulp in your juice. So they're the three choices that you have with those strainers. So they're the next piece that you put in and I'm going to make uh, for another episode of the video a uh, nice peanut and coconut butter. So I'm going to assemble this with the homogenizing plate. I've lined up the black dot on the side of the bowl with the red dot on the top of the strainer and then I need to pop in place the auger. This is the auger or sometimes called a squeezing screw. It sits in place and the food actually runs down the sides of this particular auger and they're squeezed and crushed so no heat is created when I'm using this to make juice which is great, a big difference in comparison to the old centrifugal juices. The next two pieces, the hopper and the tamper that fit together nicely. You'll notice that there's a dot on the side of the hopper lid. It lines up with the black dot on the side of the bowl and everything locks into place really, really easily. And then I can sit that on top of my juicer ready for use next. So there we go, sat in place right there. Now that's completely assembled ready for the homogenizing function and I can hold the fine mesh strainer and the coarse mesh strainer aside for another time. What we also get in the box is one of these. Now a lot of people are like, I got this square boxy thing. This is a tofu creating tool. It's actually a tofu strainer or a tofu mold. So what you get here is a piece of fabric and the mold base and then the mold lid. And when you make tofu, you actually boil the beans or, or juice the soybeans through the juicer, boil the liquid and with what curd is left, you pour it into the tofu mold with the fabric in place and then pop the lid on top. So it sits nicely, pressing all the excess liquid out and you can form a nice beautiful um, piece of tofu in there. It's also great when using your blender, your optimum range of blenders to make a nut butter. You can pop the nut butter or the nut cheese, the nut cheese preferably, in here, place the lid on top and all the liquid will come out and you can actually form a, a, a quite a firm piece or block of cheese with that. So that's a cool little tool. That's the tofu strainer and mold. And then the last two things, which we all know what these are, jugs, one for the waste chute and one for the juice chute. So that's it. That's all the pieces in the box. There is one more hidden one down the bottom here and this is a juice tap. The juice tap affixes in the place of the uh, juice chute and this will stop when you turn it off, it will stop the juice from coming out and that can help you to mix things inside so when making a nut milk you close it and it'll actually mix the water and the nuts together making a nice fine nut milk or you can use it to reduce the foam in um, your juice. Absolutely fantastic, simple juicer, easy to use, easy to put together and if you want to see us making lots of things with it, check out all the other videos on this channel. Ciao for now.